We can T say that we weren't T forewarned. Kia has been dropping broad hints about its plan to produce a rear-wheel drive sedan for years. The original GT concept was shown at the Frankfurt Auto Show as long ago as 2011, with the Stinger GT4 building on it at the 2014 Detroit Show. Now the wait is finally over as the company has unveiled the production version of its forthcoming sports sedan, which adopts the Stinger name. Don T confuse it with the K900. The Stinger is a much sleeker and sportier proposition than its state big sister, and it has a low, coupe-like roofline. Power will come from two engines, with the range topping 365 horsepower turbo 3.3 liter V6 making that version the most powerful road-going Kia yet, a 255 horsepower 2.0 liter 4-cylinder will serve as the entry-level engine. The Stinger gets an 8-speed automatic transmission, with buyers able to choose between rear and all-wheel drive. Kia says it is targeting a 5.1 second 0 to 62 mile per hour time and a 167 mile per hour top speed for the 3.3 liter. There also will be a diesel version for Europe, but there are no plans to bring it to the States. The design certainly is aggressive. It is the work of Kia's European design studio in Frankfurt. Up front, there is the brand's familiar tiger nose grille, but behind that, the low stance and muscular proportions effectively distinguish the Stinger from anything else the company has produced. Buyers will be able to have fun by getting their buddies to guess the brand of their new car when seen in profile. There is something distinctly Alfa Romeo-ish about the rear end's small high-mounted taillights as well as the quad tailpipes on the V6 GT model. LED lighting is standard front and rear. Although it is being pitched as a rival to existing compact sports sedans, the Stinger is bigger than any of the car's Kia sites as competitors. At 190.2 inches in length, it is 4.1 inches longer than the Audi A4 and 5.7 inches longer than the Mercedes-Benz C-Class while the Stinger S114.4 inch wheelbase is also longer than any of its rivals. The Kia S roofline is lower, however, and its overall height of just 55.1 inches makes it 0.2 inch shorter than a C-Class coupe. Kia says that the Stinger is a coupe sedan, even though it is actually a hatchback which ties into design boss Peter Schreier's assertion that he sees the conventional two-door coupe as being of such little interest to buyers that the company probably will never build one. Inside, the conservatively styled if smart-looking cabin features an 8.0-inch central touchscreen and a TFT information screen sitting between the instruments. The company also claims class-leading rear legroom thanks to that long wheelbase. The twin-turbocharged V6 is Hyundai's direct-injected aluminum Lambda 2 unit and is basically the same engine found in the Genesis G90, generating its peak 365 ponies at 6,000 revolutions per minute and accompanying that with 376 pounds to foot of torque that is available from 1300 rpm. The 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder is effectively a longitudinal version of the unit Hyundai and Kia use in their front-wheel drive-based vehicles, but it is also related to the engine fitted in the first-gen Hyundai Genesis Coupe. The peak of 255 horsepower arrives at 6,200 revolutions per minute, with 260 pounds to foot of torque spread across a plateau from 1,400 to 4,000 revolutions per minute. The only transmission is a development of the K900S automatic and uses a tuned mass damper on the flywheel to help reduce torsional vibration through the drivetrain. The optional all-wheel drive system features torque vectoring, while the rear drive version has a standard limited slip differential. The Stinger is constructed from mostly conventional materials, with Kia saying the chassis uses 55% high-strength steel. We haven't been given any weight numbers yet, but we re-promised that they will be competitive. 
There is a strut suspension setup at the front and a multi-link setup at the rear. The four-cylinder car sits on 18-inch wheels as standard, the V6-powered GT gets 19s as well as upgraded Brembo brakes, including four-piston front calipers and vented discs all around. Adaptive dampers will be offered a first for Kia and they LL be selectable alongside other driving functions through five dynamic settings, Eco, Sport, Comfort, Smart, and Personal. Phones, Babylon's came